when he was an archbishop in San Francisco, he extended the healthcare benefits to one other person living with any of his archdiocese's employees, regardless of their relationship. And that includes marriages, the real sense, like what we know, and also those who are same-sex marriage, which was approved in San Francisco. So this is one of the creative ways in which without forgetting that they are human beings, that they have rights, like all of us, they are entitled to health care, for example, that they can also enjoy it. Now, this is a challenge to lawyers, definitely. Creativity of love without compromising the truth, knowing how to reach out to as many souls, including those with same-sex attraction. And with that, I end. Okay, um, I want um, questions from the, yeah, I will stop sharing. Uh, from those who are, who listen. Gising uh, na, um, okay, uh, I'm done. <laughs> um. Sorry for the technical difficulty. I'll just share it with you, uh, with you later on. I, um, by the way, I also have a video, but I didn't show it to you anymore. The real interview of the Holy Father. I prepared it, but what can we do? It's in YouTube. The real interview of the Holy Father. It's in Spanish. If you use quote, uh, what you call an auto-generated caption, auto-generated translation, you can understand it as well. So that you know what he's really said. Okay. Okay. There is no question now from uh, Veronica Isla. Could there be an orchestrated, uh, sorry, could there be an orchestrated effort to undermine the Holy Father by the so-called traditionalists. I follow the social media. I follow news regarding um, the Holy Father. And I also am aware that there are what you call traditionalists. Now, just for the sake of those who, are, who have not heard about it, traditionalists uh, seem to stick in a most conservative interpretation of tradition. And at the same time, interpret any possible novelty given to um, particular situations as contrary to doctrine. And when you listen to them, I listen to some of the podcasts, I feel sad because um, they also, it seems to me, my personal opinion, um, go against Pope Francis ad hominem already. Meaning when I say ad hominem, against his person, I, as a child of his, no? um, he, I call him Pope Francis, the Holy Father, I have learned um, many things from him. I have learned my spirituality from St. Seminary who taught him to love him. He is the Holy Father. You know? And um, one opposite priest told me, we cannot be more Catholic, more Catholic than the Pope. You know? I think it's a good principle. And the Father also is doing that. Now, what can we say now of those who seem to go against him at Ominem? Well, it's time to pray. It's time to pray. Yes, there are some ambiguities. There is some spirituality, um, space in the Ignatian spirituality for vagueness, perhaps, meaning not as clear as the previous two, John Paul II, Benedict XVI. Okay, not as precise as the Holy, the um, Cardinal Ratzinger, maybe, you know, because of the some pastoral approach that he has. But but he is still the Holy Father. Now, for those who are so knowledgeable and uh, go against him and who are considered traditionists under this guise, we have to pray for them, really, I think. No? It's causing some division. No? no one stops us from listening to them, but when they go against him uh, directly, no? without respecting his position as father, as servant of servants, no? I think it goes beyond the, the, that border, that important border of respect. No? So are they trying to go together and team up and yeah, uh, go against Pope Francis. I really don't know. I cannot be spying on them all the time. I just hope this gets fixed. No? Um, their biases also are removed. Okay. Um, yeah, there's another uh, question. Yes. Can I answer? Yes, Father. Rivka, uh, Father, how do we deal with family members who have opted for a ceremony in other countries? In as much as we love family, what is the appropriate thing to do? There is no fixed formula for your question. No, um, we will have to talk, you and I, regarding what exact situation, how was the relationship between parent and son, parent and daughter, 
how was the what is the effect of a choice like this or that okay normally it has to be coursed through first prayer okay next with tolerance and then third depending on the closeness with correction as well those are the most generic advice i could say without causing scandal to young family members for example without cutting the ties okay um, it's a very difficult balancing act i have a cousin okay you're all uh, good people here okay i have a cousin who is uh, who is lgbt you know and he does she doesn't want to see me ever i think either i will be in the coffin or she will be that's the only time so it's very difficult because um, that those biases um, the image of those who are Catholic, I'm a Catholic priest, Opus Dei, known as conservative, for example, and it just cuts relationships. So if families are, are um, segregated, divided because of this, I guess if we really have to pray about it and see what unites first. And then later in time, accompaniment, prayer, never ending uh, sacrifices, and then dialogue. If they're open, if they're open, then there perhaps could be an opening to truth and our Lord can enter their hearts. Okay. Now, um, next question. I hope I answered it. Joe, uh, Father JP, how do you react if you have semi-sexual friends and they are planning to marry each other if they invite you to their wedding? Oh, no. I will also have to um, say it's a gray area. No? Very gray area. Because um, normally, um, if you have been consistent, um, with your beliefs, with your stand, you're, you're not invited to things, but you are invited. No, um, if um, you think, for example, that this would cause scandal uh, for the weak, for your other friends, if you can make a way so that you don't hurt them through visiting them, for example, through continuous um, greeting them on their birthdays, uh, whatever, no, and so that you don't um, cause, you would say, publicly. No, um, that grave uh, scandal, then it may be prudent not to go. Okay, um, if I were you, I would do this. No, I will try to go all the way so that I could show that we will not cut French our friendship just because I will not attend their wedding because that one is very sacred for me. That one is what I call marriage, and it is made holy by Christ. And if, um, uh, yeah, without telling this to them, <laughs> of course, no, um, you will have to be very creative in how to present the truths according to what they understand. Okay? If I were you, I would do this. No, if you opt to attend, um, then it's good also to consult somebody what to do. No, because normally, yes, it will cause some, a bit of tension <laughs> among those you are trying to bring to the faith especially in the case of our country you know it will cause scandal your attendance there okay um maybe there's can... another question yes um rita thank you thank you do you have any tips on how to mentor young people with same attraction okay first and foremost they have to be prayerful now uh, this is difficult because young people hardly could find difficulty for prayer so there has to be some steps so that you can guide them towards that goal when they're able to pray and they have confided in you, you have to tell them, why don't you talk to Jesus? Tell our Lord about this that you are feeling. I think if there's some, some sincerity of heart, there will be some light. Okay? Now, many times, oh, I got big. <laughs> many, many times they will not talk about it with their Lord. Then it, it, it entails some more time, accompaniment, until later on, until later on, they themselves discover Jesus does not like this. There are many ways of living my um, uh, sexuality, yes. And my attraction could be also in time with grace, you now helped by Jesus. For the men, what I always say, fall in love with one man, with our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't go after other men. Be loyal to him. For the women, I would also say Our Lady, the same. Okay, if a person, just like many young people, um, would need some accompaniment in a greater, uh, greater degree, like uh, collective means, there are communities like this. Courage, for example, is highly recommended, where they support one another, support each other, 
and go through difficult times because there is really some tension for them. Um, so um, aside from your personal effort, it's good that they could go to somebody who knows the way, who has a good criteria, and who could bring them to say sorry to God. A priest, for example, I, 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 I have guided. I, as a new priest, earlier years, I was in UNP, and I was uh, dealing with people like this. And some of them are very holy. People with same-sex attraction, after many years, for example, married already, etc., no? Stella Orientis, and they live holy lives. No? But they, they understand, they have it. No? And so they, they say it in the, as an act of uh, requesting the mercy of God, but they can be holy. Okay? And, and some of them, I came from an all boys school, some of them um, really conquered and seem to have less and less through time. It's perhaps because they are beside. Uh, another man and they did not have a dad you know, for example they're looking for there are so many reasons but i think creative ways of accompanying young people with ssa is in fashion and we have to pray about what exactly to say and how to do that for them okay uh huh uh, lulu saros okay no, from, Shirley, from Shirley first is civil union a direct concern of the church Oh, wait, uh, who asked that? I could not read. Shirley Sangalang. Sangalang. Shirley, if other civil union a direct concern for of the church, uh, actually, um, marriage is the most direct. Okay? However, when you are thinking about other realities already analogously compared to that thing that we are protecting, then it is somehow also a concern. Now, whether you call it direct or indirect, I really don't know. No, I want marriage to have exclusive right of being called such, of having those rights of adoption, having children, for example. Now, the other things, perhaps, uh, that the state will use will be secondary concern. Okay? The problem is some civil unions or same-sex uh, unions are already calling themselves marriages and even legislated. Uh, and so the Holy Father, perhaps, the way I read it, is also trying to dialogue with them. I don't call that marriage, civil union. We need that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Uh, there is another one uh, from that for civil society government to confer. Yes, yes, it is. It is for civil society and government to confer as well. No, and it is their um, main concern. It's the common good. The church's concern is salvation of souls. The, the state or is the common good, okay? However, however, and the church also can speak some things for the common good because that is important for the salvation of many souls. One of which is in, as the institution of this thing called marriage. And so important because otherwise we could do away with the privileges and the protection that only the true marriage has. Okay. Um, Father, without sounding too spiritual, how do we simplify the explanation of the youth for them to understand civil union. Okay, um, the advertisement was civil union versus marriage. Okay, um, there is some uh, clarification that is needed, perhaps. No, uh, marriage for us Catholics is a man and woman. They agree, full not um, rather with the consent, free consent, legally capacity, the three pillars of the first class, and also they do it in the form that is recognized. For the Catholic, it has to be in the church. That is the true and genuine marriage for him or her. Now, um, since we are all not only Catholics, there is what you call a possibility to be united also only in the civil way. 